Pilots using the Virginia's portable trainer are more likely to ace their final exams on the first try. It allows you to train on almost any airplane or helicopter, making it suitable for both military and civilian pilot training. The scenarios are diverse, ranging from rescue missions to squadron flights. How did the company make it happen though? They added support for simulators like Microsoft Flight Simulator, Prepar 3D, and X-Plane. But the coolest part is its portability. The Virginia's portable trainer weighs 80 kilograms and can be carried in a special case that also doubles as a base. Plus, it only takes about half an hour to assemble and set up, even if you're flying solo. The city of Peachtree Corners in the U.S. isn't huge and has only 42,000 residents, but it's rapidly embracing smart innovations. The company Pipe Dream has set up a unique delivery system that works like a miniature hyperloop. Robots zip along trails in an underground tunnel, delivering pizza in just five minutes. The tunnel spans 1.6M, linking the Curiosity Lab Tech Park to a shopping mall. It's a promising setup, ensuring no more food getting cold in traffic or arriving 30 minutes late. Live life unshaken, that's the motto of Euro Glove, and it perfectly captures what this glove is all about. Designed for people dealing with hand tremors, it houses a gyroscope spinning four times faster than a jet turbine, which can counteract about 80% of the tremors. Taking inspiration from the aerospace industry and Formula One racing, the glove is compact and lightweight, weighing in at 580 g. It's perfect for people with Parkinson's disease and professionals like surgeons or chemists who need steady hands. In the U.S. market, it's priced at $4,900. Engineer Chris Cheslek knows wind turbine blades well, and that's why he designed a robot to assist in their maintenance. This six-legged worker crawls all over the blades, checking for cracks and deformities. Its first big job was checking the O Catapult offshore power station in Scotland. The robot strolled along the blade for around 50M, sending video and scan results to experts below. In the future, these robots could cut inspection costs by a third, maybe even eliminating the need for human involvement altogether. London is expecting a big jump in bicycle traffic with around 10 times more bikes on the streets in the next few years. Meanwhile, in New York, bike usage shot up by double in March 2020. These facts got the N Frontier team excited. They've come up with a prototype for what they're calling the world's smartest bike helmet. It's got liar surround sound and even an airbag called face shield, all wrapped around your head. It's a full-on face shield with goggles, something many bike users have been missing. If the weather turns bad, you can attach a visor. The helmet shell even has LED lights that you can control with a simple tap of your fingers.
Ever felt bored on your commute? You've exhausted your playlist, scrolled through social media, and conquered every level in Angry Birds. What now? Well, the folks at iTry have a suggestion, try looking out the window. Using a mix of GPS and cameras, this smart window tracks where you're looking and displays interesting info on the glass, like historical tidbits. Plus, its design ensures the info doesn't block your view. Want more? Just touch the glass for an extended version. The iTry team showcased this idea at CES 2024 and mentioned it can even work with wearable devices. Leave the traffic behind, sit back, relax, and enjoy the view. No need to control the steering wheel or push those pedals. That's the future Fly Now is painting. In a couple of years, they're gearing up to produce unmanned cabs like the Ecopter. This electric vehicle promises a 50 km range and hits a top speed of 130 km per hour. The company hints it'll start with a cargo version, acknowledging it's not a fit for the military. But does that really matter if widespread copter adoption can save some serious cash? Just in the US, UK, and Germany, road issues lead to losses exceeding $400 billion. Stand clear at the closing doors, please. Our next stop is the future, and Orego is leading the way. They're working on a whole fleet of unmanned vehicles. The auto shuttle, a passenger bus, has been spotted on British and Czech roads with five lidars, seven cameras, and a 360 degrees view, plus an operator on standby. It's ready for action. For airports, there's the Auto Dolly, a compact luggage carrier. The Auto Patrol is designed for patrolling areas and identifying security threats. Orego has big plans, already making waves internationally and welcoming investors on board. Do you think drivers, baggage handlers, and security guards should be nervous? Climate change is set to double or even triple atmospheric turbulence by the 2050s, posing a huge challenge for aviation. Luckily, Turbulence Solutions is tackling this issue head-on. Their technology enhances flight smoothness by 80%, and it's brilliantly simple. Sensors are strategically placed close to the airplane's nose to detect pressure drops. Special booms have been tested on smaller aircraft. The advanced system reacts to changes in just 0.1 seconds, giving the airplane enough time to auto-compensate for turbulence. Notably, tests successfully handled a vertical acceleration of 30 meters per second. Alex Kazak, four-time world kitesurfing champion, has set a record by hitting speeds beyond 100 km per hour on a kite. Not one to rest on his laurels, Kaz co-founded Soko and is currently working on a sailboat aiming to surpass the 150 km per hour speed barrier. The boat features a streamlined hydrofoil hull connected to a kite, gradually soaring above the water as it picks up speed, resembling a flying fish. Interestingly, Soko faces competition from SP-80, a team with similar ambitions of exceeding 150 km per hour. The question remains, who will achieve this milestone first? <laughs> 